Did you feel a little more pressure doing this performance than you yeah, have? Yeah, I was scared to death, but Brian was so so nice because you know we're talking to Melinda and to Brian and all the people around Brian who love him so much. And if they were if they didn't like what we had done or didn't feel like we had done a heartfelt um, interpretation of the material, it would have been really I would have been really really sad. And you know if you're gonna if you're gonna do his story or or approach his music, you better come with you know your heart wide open. Uh, give it everything you got, otherwise you're going to really disappoint them. And um, we, I, I, I was, uh, when I heard that Brian and Melinda were seeing the film, that was as nervous as I got. Because Were you there when they were, when they were seeing it? No, but I was going to get a text, so I was sort of waiting <laughs> for the text. It and started an out, hour ago, we got 45 minutes left here. And then I found out Melinda said that uh, they were very moved and liked it a lot, so... Bill, they were they were moved. They liked it a lot. I mean, from what I read right away, they liked it. If, if if there had been problems that they had with it, would you have made changes? Would you have been open to that? Yeah, I, I mean, well, within the degree we talked about this early on. Uh, both Brian and Melinda were great partners in it, but we talked early on. When you're doing a movie about a real person, uh, obviously, if they were making the movie, they would make it differently. Just like all of us, if we were trying to tell our own story, we tell it one way, and it has to be there. Has to be some objectivity there to be able to you know, kind of see this vision through. I mean, again, I admit all the time that you can't do a film about anybody that's the d definitive version. So we got to kind of bow ourselves down to the fact that this is just my version or our version of, of the story. Yeah, it's not the definitive yeah. Brian Wilson thing. So in that sense, you know, you got to allow the filmmakers, which they did amazingly well, to kind of, they trusted the process, but they also were there. I mean, Brian gave notes, broke Brian and Melinda gave notes on, on the script early on, and as well as a rough cut, but they were never like notes of changing anything dramatic. It was more things that were very insightful about how th the way things really were versus, uh, you know, I didn't say that, or I'm funnier than that, or something like that. But it's yeah. good that it's not the definitive Brian Wilson story, because when you try to get a definitive biopic, you end up getting these biopics that we see come out of Hollywood all the time, which is trying to tell every moment of someone's life that ends up becoming kind of riddled with cliches, because yeah. you're just trying to say too much, where this does not have that at all. Every moment feels very honest and truthful, to the point where I was telling you guys in the green room where there's a moment where Paul Dano just hits a kettle drum, and it's the opening beat for uh, a Pet Sound song, and it, and it drew me to tears, because I love that album so much, and it was just this amazing moment to see the beginning of that idea. Yeah, and that, that, that point is, is to what I was talking about earlier too, is that there's so many things about Brian's life and, and his relationship with Melinda and his relationship with music that people are gonna wonder why they're not in there. You know, like uh, <laughs> Phil Spector is a you know, huge influence on Brian. And we had scenes that we shot that referenced that. But at Did the anyone end, play Phil? Did you have a... Yes. Who yeah. played Phil? I, I can't say. Oh, Phil! <laughs> yeah, didn't end up in the movie, unfortunately. He was a great, great guy. But um, so, uh, really, we, you hate to cut those things, but on the other hand, you're trying to get the intimate portrait, and sometimes things like that that might satisfy a fan or something like that, are, you know, they just don't fit and, and don't make it as poignant. Yeah.